I am managing to put up three videos this week. Can you believe it? But having said that, it'll probably be like <laughs> super inconsistent, you know, for the next, <laughs> for the next who knows how long. Um, I just had the time to film some stuff this weekend, you know, on top of doing all the other stuff that we have to do. And um, yeah, so uh, you know what this all means. It's time for uh, this just in. The last one I posted was about mid-September, so this one is mid-September to about, well, it's like the first week of November, so it's the last month and a half. The, mo the last month and a half of, um, of stuff. And it's actually kind of later in the afternoon, which is why I look a little bit shiny. Usually I'll put on makeup and then I'll just like jump right in front of the camera, but um, I put on makeup this morning, it's four o'clock now, and I've been wearing makeup since about 10. So if you've ever wondered what the Alima Pure makeup looks like on me after six or so hours. I mean, I'm a little shiny because like there's a little bit of oil breakthrough, but it's not terrible. I've even eaten, you know, I had, um, I had some pasta and it still looks decent. I did run my brush over it a little bit just to sort of like touch up in a few spots, but um, yeah, this is six hours of wear. This is what it looks like on me. It doesn't look, you know, it just, it's just a little bit shiny and that's it. There's really no like broken up makeup. It doesn't look, you know, gross, disgusting, anything like that. So let's just start with um, the, the stuff that I ordered for, from the Detox Market and the Beauty Heroes. Um, friends and family sales. I did not order from Credo. I was initially going to order the Aether Beauty Mascara, um, but I decided to just go ahead and wait. Aether might be having a decent um, sale this year, and if not, I'll just pick it up, you know, whenever. <laughs> whenever. I'm not in a hurry because I do have a ton of mascara. So from the Detox Market, all I ordered were the Let It Soak um, Limited Edition Crush Bath Sets from Bathorium. I did order two of them because I really wanted them and I did not get them last year. So these come with three scents, the mistletoe and holly, the vanilla cream, and then the balsam and frankincense. So good winter, fall time scents. Pretty sure they're still around and I think that you can get them on the Bathroom <clears throat> website now. I don't think they were there initially, but I think you can get them there now. So that's all I got from Detox Market. I did not go berserk. I didn't need anything. All I wanted were some bath crushes so that I could you know, take some baths. Though um, night times are getting, they're kind of difficult right now for some reason. Um, I, Oliver used to be really good about me putting him down and then he wouldn't wake up either all night or for many, many hours. He, he might wake up in the middle of the night or whatever. Um, but now I will put him to bed and I still put him to sleep. Um, and then I'll get up and I'll do like the things that I need to do. But then he's getting up um, pretty quickly after I'm putting him to bed and like he won't stay asleep but, like unless I'm in bed with him. So that's, that's, I'm not sure what that's about, but it's something that we're working on. So <gasps> I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to take a bath um, just because I like to sit in there and soak for like hours. And if he's gonna, you know, wake up and <laughs> come in, <laughs> um, it's not, that's not really gonna be possible. Okay, so then I did order from the Beauty Heroes friends and family sale. I did only order a few things. Again, didn't go crazy. I did get the David's toothpaste, the sensitive and whitening with nano hydroxy, yep, hydroxy apatite, whatever. I did get that. I am using the one from Risewell right now, so once I'm done with that tube, I will open up that one, so it'll be a couple of months. I did get the Nature of Things um, fortifying magnesium soak again because we're getting into bath season and I really want to take some baths, and this smells. Really good. It's got one of those like aromatic experience things. Mmm, smells really good. So do you use the, the whole thing? Pour entire content contents into warm bath. And so for at least 20 minutes. So yeah, you use the whole the whole baggie per bath. And then the last thing that I got was the Mara uh, CKL Sunscreen Serum SPF 30. Because I have all of the other Mara products. Um, except the only thing I don't have is like that edible supplement that they've got, um, which I think is vegan, but um, I wanted to get the sunscreen. So let's pump a little bit out. So here's what the, um, the bottle looks like. So it, it's like an oil serum. 
Was I expecting that? I don't remember. Shake well before use and apply, apply liberally to face, neck, and chest. Um, I guess it's... I think it's... I guess it's supposed to be an oil. Because it's a sunscreen serum. Yeah. So it's like just an oily consistency. I mean, it blends in pretty easily, at least on... Uh, my skin tone, but when I give all of the Mara stuff a test, I will let you guys know and I will do my little review whenever that will be because, you know, things take, things take a long time these days to do anything. And I do have my Jill um, replacement blades here. Though it's been quite a while since I, I dermaplaned my face. I really should get back to it. <laughs> Especially right now when my skin is like in decent enough condition because I don't like to do it when I'm like really broken out. So I usually like to wait until I'm, my skin's doing decently well. Um, and it is right now. So maybe I'll try to do that tonight. I don't know. Okay, Derma E actually sent me quite a few things. So let me grab all the Derma E stuff. All right, so Derma E sent me pff, like four boxes in the last month. Jeez Louise. I know they had... I know they had a new release, a couple of new releases. Okay, so the first thing they sent was like a package for their new vitamin C glow face oil. Which, where is that? They sent like a whole, they sent like a whole thing. So there's the vitamin C glow face oil. And then it also came with like all of their other vitamin C stuff. So the vitamin C weightless moisturizer, the gentle daily cleansing paste, the instant uh, radiant citrus facial peel and then the vitamin C concentrated serum. So like all of their vitamin C stuff. It also came with a cute, a cute little headband. That's adorable. Um, yes, very cute. And then it also came with a gua sha stone, but I, they just did not pack this very well. So, um, it's in a few pieces. So, <laughs> Can't use that unless I want to like, you know, cut up my whole face, but yeah, they just didn't, they didn't pack that very well. There was like no protective packaging around the gua sha stone, but the rest of it I'm excited about. I love me some vitamin C. And then I know they had another launch. I think it's this one. Um, they launched a couple of makeup things. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. So they sent, Another cute little package. This one actually has a makeup bag with my name on it. Like how cute is that? <laughs> okay, so this one came with the Microderm Abrasion Scrub and the Universal Cleansing Balm, which I have tried the universe, Universal Cleansing Balm and I do really, really like it. It also came with the Sun Protection Mineral Powder and then the new makeup, woo, sorry. The new makeup items were these um, Skin Illuminators. So there's coral and gold, and then pink and gold. So I haven't actually played with these yet. Oh, darn it. Why does everything break on me? This, this part fell out. So here's this one. This one's like a pink, like a rose gold. We'll see if the other one. Um, this one is the coral and gold, so it's sort of like a coppery, coppery. Here, let me try to do some swatches if I can. They are very like glittery, so it depends how you feel about that. Um, so here are the, the swatches of those two. Obviously you'd blend them in so they wouldn't be this, this pigmented. Um, they also sound, felt, uh, sent, sent another one of these. Some reusable cotton rounds, which I love. I use these all the time. Um, they even come with a little baggie. And then they sent a beauty sponge. So a couple of cool new releases from Derma E if you are interested in Derma E. Okay, then they sent another package, which I don't remember what this one was. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh wait, it's, it's everything except the makeup items. 
Or did they send, was this some, I don't know. Oh, this is like another, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So they sent another universal cleansing balm, another microdermabrasion scrub, um, another SPF stick, and then the Radiant Glow face oil, which I think this has, does this one have mica in it? Yeah, this one has like mica in it. It's hard to tell, I mean, it's, there's not a lot of it, so it's not like glitter on your face, but. Okay, so that's that. And then the thing that they just sent, this came in the mail yesterday, they sent some hair care. So this is the scalp relief set and then the thickening shampoo set. They also have a nourishing set and then a restoring. I don't necessarily have thinning hair, but I wonder if, um, I wonder if this would be good, the thickening stuff. Like, I don't need scalp relief, so I'll probably find somebody to give that to. But, um, might try the, uh, the thickening one. Let's blend these in. You can see what they look like sort of blended in. And they have a nice sort of like, almost like powdery texture. Kind of that other one, that coral one is just like, it, it is very glittery, but the pink gold one is not as glittery yet. Look at all the, look at all the big, the big chunky glitter on there. All right, what's next? There's actually not a lot um, this time around just because I haven't been doing hardly any shopping or responding to emails of like brands wanting to send me stuff because I'm just like in such a bad place. <laughs> I'm just like, please leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, I have accepted some stuff. I've, I am starting to get back into um, like wanting to do this regularly again. So I have accepted a few things. I, I am, I did accept a like a skincare line that looks really nice. And there's some other stuff. Oh, BYBI. I know I asked you guys if you were interested in that and a few of you said yes. So I did, I did respond to them. I didn't pick anything specifically. I just told them to send me some stuff. So we'll see what they send me. I mean, it's a pretty affordable line. So hopefully they send me a lot. <laughs> okay, so I did place an order with Sephora because the new Tower 28 Sunny Days um, SPF 30 tinted sunscreen released, but by the time I got to the website, the shade that I wanted, um, which is 15 Melrose, already was sold out, so I went and I ordered it on Sephora. And then while I was there, um, I think to get to free shipping, because I think free shipping was like $50 or something, though I should just pay for the shipping because do I really need to buy like extra makeup? No, but. I knew LYS had recently launched um, a pressed highlighter. So I did go ahead and get that because I did buy all of the other LYS stuff. Was it earlier this year? Oh, that is way golder than I thought it was going to be. Oh boy. Um, and I think I got the lighter of the two shades or like the lightest shade. It doesn't look so bad in the viewfinder, but it is actually pretty gold. And again, very, very glittery. So I know I've got the LYS stuff sitting here and I still need to, um, this is the Aim High, the Brave Champagne one. Um, I, need to, I need to do all that, but um, yeah, I got this to sort of go with that and to get free shipping, which I didn't really need to do, but <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so then Cora Organics sent me a random package. They're very strange. You know, I, I received some Cora organic stuff um, through the detox market when they were featured in the box late last year, I think, is when it was included. And then Cora Organics reached out to me and wanted to send me some stuff. And then they backtracked later and they were like, no, we don't actually, we're not gonna work with you anymore. And I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> and then this showed up, like the newest launch. So I'm like, okay, was this, was this, uh, I know Cora Organics and like the detox market work together. So I don't know if this was orchestrated by the detox market or if because Cora Organics still had my like info, even though they never sent me anything, if they sent it to me for that reason. I never know why anything happens. I don't get any emails. Sometimes stuff just shows up and I'm just like, all right, whatever. <laughs> but when I mentioned this in a video, a few of you guys said that you were actually interested in this. So I will be testing this out. So this is the new release, the Berry Bright Vitamin C Eye Cream. Um, and then this is the packaging. It's cute, but excessive because like, look at all that empty space in there. And here's like the top. I mean, it's, it's excessive. Oh, it's got like, um, it's got like a seal on it. I'm not, I'm not totally ready to, is this, um, 
I wonder if it's like refillable. I don't know, I'm not sure yet. But anyway, a few of you guys said you wanted a review on this, so I'm gonna add this to the testing docket. I've been using the, um, the, the Gel Luminate from uh, the D the, no, the Beauty Heroes box, the one that was the anniversary one, the seventh anniversary. The, what was that brand? Oh, Violets Are Blue. I've been using that one pretty consistently for the last couple of months. Um, so I can, I can go ahead and add something new in. Okay, and it also came with a rose, rose, a rose quartz crystal, just like a, just like a big, like a big hunk of crystal which is like, it's like not even flat and polished, but maybe it doesn't need to be. And then it also came with the Rose Quartz Crystal Glass Drinking Straw. <laughs> so let me see. Um, let's see what this looks like, because I haven't actually opened it. Oh, it comes in this like cute little tube. Okay, what is this in here? Is this the Rose Quartz? Do I have to like put it on? I put it on the straw by myself? So here's the rose quartz, it's got like a hole in it. So then you open up the, the straw, comes with a little brush, Ugh. and then I guess you put this like this and then put it in your drink. What is the purpose of this? I, okay, there's no, no literature about why, why you would do this, why it's necessary, so. I don't know if any of you know why you would put rose quartz in your drink and then drink it. I don't know, like, let me know, because I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I'll be trying the, uh, the eye cream for you guys, the ones that wanted, the ones that wanted that review. <laughs> All right, a couple of other things before I get to this package of stuff back here, which is, it's actually loose. So maybe there's more than I'm realizing. I just, I, I put, took a bunch of stuff out of boxes. Um, and put it into one big box. Okay, so uh, Youth to the People sent me their newest launch, um, and I didn't know what it was. They just asked if I wanted to receive it, and I was like, sure, why not? I liked your last one, which is right here, the Superfood Malic Acid, which I do really enjoy. So I figured because I liked that one, I might like the new thing, and I'm glad that they sent me this because then I can add it to my Cleansing Bomb video that I'm working on because guess what it is? Dun, 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 dun. It's a cleansing mom. <laughs> their, their PR packaging is like kind of excessive. It's just like a lot. So this is the Superberry Dream cleansing bomb with maki and prickly pear hyaluronic acid. It's got a flesh, flash, flash melting formula. So here's what the jar looks like. It's glass and then it really doesn't have much of a scent. It, it maybe has something that's a little bit reminiscent of like mango butter. Um, I'm not sure if there's any mango butter in here, but it's, it smells like the lightest bit, sort of like kind of tropical, kind of like mango butter. I'll go over the ingredients later. Um, and then once I you know, try it, I'll talk about it in that video. But um, yeah, it is emulsifying. So that's nice, I do like that. And then it also came with like a dream journal. Which I have been having some like strange dreams. So maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll start writing in this dream journal. <laughs> so I can like look back at them and be like, what the heck is going on in my brain that I'm having, I'm having this dream, I don't know. Okay, so then Bathorium sent me a nice little package unexpectedly. I was not expecting this package, um, but I have worked with them in the past. They've sent me a couple of their launches and I knew they had launched this Hinoki um, mineral bath soak. Um, I was planning on picking it up, but I hadn't gotten around to it yet. Just, you know, but they sent it to me. <laughs> so I'm very grateful that they sent this. So they sent me the new Japanese Hinoki Cypress uh, mineral bath soak. And it also came with like a scoop for it because I think you use one to two cups of Hinoki is what it says. So I'd probably use like two scoops. And then this, this little package, this little PR package that they sent also came with a candle um, from a company called Asher. I'm not actually sure what the scent is that they sent because there's really no like information on like the scent. But what is cool, so here's the candle. 
Um, what is cool about this is they also sent like a uh, little try try me's of like other scents in the Asher uh, like candle collection. So they come in like these little mini like pots. So you can sort of smell them and see which one you like the best. And they, they have the names on the top of them. But this other, this other candle didn't for some reason. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a, like, there's a bunch in here. I don't know if it's like their whole collection or if it's just a select, a select few, but that's pretty cool. And then it also included a mug, which is very nice. You can brew some tea, burn your candle, um, soak in the bath. At least that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan. Will it happen? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so here's a big box of stuff. I mean, not a ton, but you know, a decent amount. Okay. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> I'm always tired. I'm tired, but like not not like the kind of tired that I used to be. It's just like, it's just tight. Like I'm, maybe it's from lack of sleep because I have been staying up like way too late, like just watching random TikToks. Like I'm back on TikTok. I don't know why. Now my sister and I like send each other like funny or stupid TikToks. So <laughs> I don't post anything on there. I just, um, I like save funny videos. Okay, so beauty hero, not beauty heroes, beauty counter has sent me a couple of their um, recent launches. And I'm kind of glad that they did because that now I think I've tried five different beauty counter products. So I have like a video idea in mind um, ab about these products. So they sent me the Glow First Priming Serum. I've only tried this one once so far. Um, but this is like kind of cool because it has like these bubbles in it. Can you even see? I think you can see a little bit, but it's like, it looks like it's like bubbles. Kind of interesting. Does it really work that well as a primer? I don't know, I need to test it out. I need to test it out a bit more, but I mean, that's kind of interesting. I don't follow Beauty Counter, so I never actually really know what they're doing. I just get like an email sometimes like, hey, do you wanna be included in our launch? And I'll be like, yeah, sure. They also sent this. This is the, um, the big, think big, all-in-one mascara, which this is a huge tube. So, and here is this. This I have not tried yet because it has been sitting in this box in my kitchen and I have not tried any of this stuff yet, but I know that I need to. So, a couple of beauty counter things that I'll be testing and then we'll be doing some kind of beauty counter review at some point. Okay, so I got the last month Skylar's, Skylar's, the, the Scent Club's scent last month, which is Matcha Zen. Uh, green tea whipped vanilla and brown sugar and then at the time that this came in so I pay for this on my own now um, They used to send me them, but they stopped sending them to influencers I guess and so now I pay for this on my own because I really like the service and at the time you can add stuff to your You know like your cart um, and it'll send at the same time as your scent club I think it helps with shipping because I don't think they charge you extra shipping So if there's like other perfumes that you want to try or now they have like merch and candles and stuff You can throw it in and they'll send it at the time of your scent club. So last month I had them send me Well, I bought they didn't send it to me. I bought it <laughs> um, the the scent the rollie holder. So now I'm gonna pick all of my favorite rollies and just like have them sitting out on my vanity. I don't actually remember if I liked this one or not because I haven't I haven't worn it. And they're about to send, actually I think the, the new one is actually already in the mail. No, I do like this one. This one's nice. I do get like green tea and vanilla and it is sweet. So I'm gonna, maybe I'll just put that right there. There you go, you guys can look at it. <laughs> Okay, so Ojai Wild sent me their Virgin Bloom Yarrow Face Oil. I am working on finishing up another face oil for another video that I wanna do. And then I think I'm going to throw this one in there or like after I'm done with that, I'll start testing this one. So let's see. So the Yarrow Face Oil is deeply moisturizing and absorbs flawlessly into the skin. Um, for centuries associated as the wound medicine, our yarrow leaves and flowers are harvested at full flower for maximum potency. So it's got jojoba, yarrow, grapeseed, frankincense, lavender, 
Heliochrysum, um, Neroli, Bergamot, Lemon, and Rose. It does smell really beautiful. So I'm excited to use that. Um, Ojai Wild also recently launched a new perfume, which I think is rose scented, which sounds beautiful. And I do love the Ojai Wild perfumes though. It's been a while since I've worn them just because um, all that I've really been wearing lately is Skylar. I did, I did pull out my Amor Fati from um, Sigil scent recently because I did miss that one. It's so like, it's just this, this delicate, beautiful scent and I've missed it. Okay, so Silk Naturals sent me their new skincare. I've never actually tried any of the new, I, or actually I've never tried any of the skincare from Silk Naturals. Um, I've really only tried their makeup and mostly just their lip products. Um, I did try some of their powder products like in the way back when, um, I still have a few of their eyeshadows, but um, I have never tried any of their skincare and I know that they, they have some. So they recently launched the, the Works Bakuchiol and Vitamin C Serum. So this has, so let's see, it's got niacinamide, uh, matrixyl 3000, um, it's got Sinchi, Sacha Inchi Seed, sodium hyaluronate, um, and then vitamin C, bakuchiol, uh, ceramides. So I'm pretty excited to give this, to give this a try. What is it, one ounce? So yeah. So they reached out and wanted, wondered if I was interested in trying that. Um, it has been a while since I've done a swatch video and I do still have the second part of my mats that I need to do. Um, but I did explain sort of my <laughs> situation to them and they're, they're very understanding. So I, I wanna get back into that soon. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, what can I, what else can I show you? Okay, so Detox Market sent me some of this, um, sent me some stuff from the company Mount Lay, Lay, Lai. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but they wondered if I was interested in trying any of the things that they recently launched, so I said sure. So they sent me the Calming Herbal Repair Face Balm, Facial Massage Balm, and then they sent me a couple of tools. So here is the, here is that beautiful purple color. So let's see, let's let's um, read about it. Oh, my back, my back is killing me, I am so sorry. So it has purple Gromwell root, my phone, or my thing stopped recording, so I don't know where I stopped off, but astragalus root, which soothes skin irritation, squalane, meadow foam seed oil, um, and then muramuru and kokum butter. So then you would use this with, um, you know, any of the tools. So they did send me they did send me two tools. So they sent me the amethyst gua, gua sha tool. I don't know why, but I can't speak lately. How does, oh, it's magnetic, hello. Okay, so here's the amethyst gua sha tool. That's very beautiful. I love the coloring on that. And then they also sent the jade acupressure gua sha spoon. I know they have other things like rollers. They have other um, variations of the spoons and the gua sha tools. So very excited about those. I need to get back into gua sha. I need to get back into so many things that I've just like let slide in the last, you know, few months, understandably. But I beat myself up. I beat myself up about a lot. Though I know that I shouldn't, but um, okay, what should I do here? All right, here's some other new releases. Um, two were sent to me. Actually, are there any other other new releases in here? There's something actually missing. Uh, Leilani sent me their new perfume, but I am not sure where it is at the moment. Um, they sent me the new Jasmine perfume. Is it Jasmine or is it Gardenia? It's one of the two, um, but I don't know where it is at the moment. Um, so I will link to it, but I don't have it sitting here because I have no idea what I did with it. It should be in this box. I'm not sure why it isn't. I have like the, um, it's, this is like the samples. They, they send us samples, you know, whatever. That's what's in here is the samples, but I don't have the, I don't have the perfume. What would I have done with it? I don't know. Okay, whatever. So they sent me that. I will link to it in case you want to check it out. Um, Alpen Beauty also sent me their Triple C Brightening Bounce Cream. And I actually just saw that Alpen Beauty launched in Beauty Heroes. And I think their whole collection launched at Beauty Heroes. So 
Um, I'll be talking about them at some point because I do have the entire collection of that. Very excited to try that. And then Osea sent me their other newest launch, which is the anti-aging C serum. So let's see, a super serum for brighter day. Um, the bioactive serum targets all signs of aging and supports skin moisture barrier in one powerful formula, enriched with seaweed, vitamin C, niacinamide, ceramides, and natural peptides. Promotes a brighter complexion, improves skin elasticity, and reduces the appearance of wrinkles. High performance serum delivers smoother, radiant, healthier looking skin, which obviously I could use. I need that. Um, use morning and night free of essential oils if that is important to you. Okay, and then a launch that I bought um, is the In Beauty Project Green Machine, the Insta Glow 7 Minute Mask. And you know, it's a mask, so of course I had to buy it. And In Beauty Project also recently launched a new lip serum, lip oil formula. It's the peppermint one. I did buy that. Wow, this doesn't have any scent. I was not expecting that. So anyway, I mean, I do. I have all the In Beauty Project skincare that I need to review that at some point too, but I'm just like, I can't keep up. Like I need more faces. Like I, <laughs> I can't keep up with, with it all. <laughs> and then I did buy this. So Sola Wave um, introduced a new wand. Um, this is the blue light one. And they had sent me like a pretty good coupon for it. So I was like, all right. Okay, I'll buy it. Um, so it's blue light therapy. I think it's supposed to be good for acne specifically, which is again, why it like, it stood out to me. So let me, let me show you this here. So, so it's, it's activated by touch. So it, it's not just like on all the time. It's just like when it's touching your face. Though I need to remove the sticker. So it's supposed to, oh, there you go. It rotates too. So you do it like that or whatever. So I need to, I need to take this out um, so I can start using it. Okay, where is the, I want to, I want to read to you what it's supposed to be good for. Um, that, that's just instructions. Um, what does it do? <laughs> okay, I don't know. Um, I will, I will leave a link to it because it doesn't, there's really no like information on what it's supposed to be specifically good for. It's just like how to use it, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I did buy that because it does, it did sound interesting and I need to do, I need to review both. As I know, I bought the other one like quite a while ago and then I, have I reviewed it? No, because you know, my life is a mess. Okay. Um, so one night at like two in the morning, I impulse bought three more of the Bite Beauty, um, lipsticks in colors that I really wanted. So I got Pomelo, Fig, and Radicchio. So maybe I'll do a second swatch video, um, with these other three. I think there was like a 25% sale going on and I was like, all right, I got nothing better to do than, um buy random stuff in the middle of the night because it was like two in the morning around the same, you know, around the time that stuff happened and I was just like on my phone all the time. Okay, so Coco Kind reached out to me and wanted to send me, they, they were like partnering with, partnering with Say Beauty and so they wanted to send me some stuff. So they sent me the oil to milk cleanser, the ceramide barrier balm, bar, bar, barrier serum, and the revitalizing eye cream. So they sent me a few things and then in the same package, um, they sent some Say Beauty. So the really great gloss and easy, which is like this sort of nude shade. They sent me the mascara and they sent me the Dew Balm in Say Lilac, which is actually a color that I did not have. I think I have the other two, but I don't have the lilac one. So I'm overwhelmed. I, I'm like, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm overwhelmed with like life. And okay, this this is um this is just uh, mosquito stuff. I brought it in here. I, I, should I tell you about it? I should because I bought it because the mosquitoes here have been just like out of control. Terrible. And I've tried these Aunt Fanny's mosquito wipes before and they actually work really really well. So I picked up I picked up a bunch more because um mosquito season is 
it's it's bad right now and they're like not going away anytime soon i also did buy um the spray i bought the mosquito spray it's actually sitting outside and then the other thing that i bought was the house plant and garden garden insect remedy um for the white flies that are all over my plants outside um it works but you have to spray it like a lot like consistently because they come back so it kills what's on there but then like three days later there's a whole bunch of new ones so you just like have to keep spraying it and honestly i just like like i said i was like i said before it, i'm like overwhelmed <laughs> with the amount of stuff in my house right now that i need to like go through and organize and figure out okay what am i going to actually review and what am i not going to review because i need to clean out i need to clean out something i need to do something because now i'm sitting in like a pile of trash and i just like don't even want to look at it <sighs> okay so that much shorter than my my regular this just in just because i didn't really have all that much i'm not buying like a ton of stuff. Um, I know I'm gonna be getting some like new releases from Live Botanical soon. Like I said, um, I'm getting a skincare line from a brand that reached out and wanted to send me um, their skincare. Maybe you've heard of them, that's Understory, Understory Botanicals. Um, what else? BYBI is sending me some stuff. What else is like coming that I know of? I'm not really sure. But Black Friday is around the corner and will I make like a few makeup purchases, probably. I'm not gonna buy any skincare. I don't need skincare. I need somebody to be here <laughs> so that like when I try to go buy skincare, they're just like, no, stop. Like even makeup, I don't really need it, but I'll probably make a few makeup purchases. I'm kind of waiting for Clove and Hollow to see what their you know deals are gonna be um, if I wanna pick up any of the new stuff from Clove and Hollow. I haven't decided yet. Um, I can't think of anything else that's really that's coming. Just a lot of skincare, not a lot of makeup. I get, I get sent mostly skincare. Okay. So anyway, that's all that I have for this video. Check out any of the links below. If you are interested, um, I did not talk about any of the subscription boxes in this, in this video, because I am going to do a separate subscription box roundup, which you probably will see after this or next week. If I can get this up on Friday, I will have a subscription box roundup on Monday, I think, is the what I'm aiming for here. Because what is today? Today is the 7th, I think. And then next Friday will be the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. Oh my God, it's like almost the end of the year. I can't even believe it. I cannot believe that we are almost at the end of 2021. It still feels like it should. we should still be in 2020. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of you guys feel like that as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's anything that is of interest to you that you want to see sooner than later, and I will attempt to get to it. I mean, like we know what my we know what my my channel looks like lately. It's like a lot of me just doing subscription box stuff. But I want to try to not do as much subscription box stuff and do more reviews because um, I'm sure that the the subscription box stuff, like that being my only content, gets pretty tired. So I had um, an empties video up this week. I have this. So hopefully let, we're getting in, we're gonna start getting back into doing something other than subscription box stuff, okay? I'm trying, I'm trying guys. I know that you guys are like patient with me and you're like, you know, take your time, whatever. But then I just feel like bad because like who wants to watch only subscription box stuff? Like that's not that interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>